평화롭고 아름다워 보이죠. 그렇죠? 남가주의 목가적인 전원지역과 여러 곳에 자리하는 올리베 대학에는 사색적인 환경에서 공부하고 신앙생활을 하려고 세계 전역에서 학생들이 옵니다. 모두 극히 정상적으로 보이지만 실상은 올리베 커뮤니티의 시설인 이 올리베 대학은 겉모습과 전혀 다른 곳입니다. 올리베 커뮤니티의 리더인 한국계 미국인 데이빗 장 목사와 그 지지자들은 현재 돈 세탁, 비자 사기, 노동력 착취로 미국 사법 당국의 조사를 받고 있습니다. 2018년 데이빗 장의 몇몇 제자들은 사기, 돈 세탁의 중죄 혐의로 유죄를 인정했습니다. 도대체 무슨 일이죠? 데이빗 장은 누군가요? 올리베 커뮤니티와 올리베 대학의 진짜 실체가 뭔가요? 답을 찾고자 이 조직의 몇몇 전 멤버들과 이야기를 나눴습니다. So I was close to David Chang for a while when he was in America, when he was in New York, and then sitting next to him, I realized gradually, okay, he lies a lot. He's bluffing. He's manipulating. You know, and he is, um, um, he's making things up. And he doesn't know what he's doing. 장재형은 정말 제 생각에는 미스테리한 사람입니다. 어, 다른 사람들과 다르게 전면에 자신을 잘 드러내지 않고 뒤에서 모든 것을 조정한다는 저희가 취재를 하면서 장재형이라는 사람이 과거 통일교 출신이라는 것을 알게 되었는데 그 사람이 하는 행동이 어, 통일교의 사업 방식과 유사하다 이런 지적들이 계속 있었는데 그런 것들을 의식하고 어, 그런 것들이 논란이 될까 봐 본인을 어떤 일인지에 대한 사례를 확보했고요. 전 멤버의 실제 이야기를 들어보시죠. No one's getting properly paid for their work. No one's getting proper education in their school. Uh, you are just a work slave for him. His greed for money is endless. Uh, the worst moment in, of my life is when I slowly and painfully realized that he is a fraud. I was confused. I felt completely lost. I felt alone. And I had to uh, accept that I spent a decade of my life serving a criminal. He took my dreams away. 도대체 무슨 일일까요? 저희는 정평 있는 전문가를 찾았습니다. 대체 데이비 장이 누구죠? 진짜 그의 속셈이 뭔가요? So my concerns are with authoritarian cults. I actually look at cults along an influence continuum of healthy all the way to really destructive like terrorist groups and traffickers. But the simple uh, explanation is they are authoritarian pyramid structured groups that use deceptive recruitment and control people's behavior, information, thoughts, and emotions to make a cult identity that suppresses a person's self. As a former recruiter for the Moon Cult, I was taught to uh, size up potential converts. We, and we always were told to recruit on our level or higher. And yes, we wanted people who were willing to work long hours for no pay and uh, give up their education, their family, their religion in order to pursue the fantasy that they're going to change the world or they're going to be saved. It's all about power and control and obedience. So there's no encouragement to use your conscience. There's no reality testing. They will tell you what sources of information you have access to and tell you everything else is, is incorrect or satanic. And the bottom line is there's no freedom and human rights. You're just doing whatever the leader and the doctrine instructs you to do. 카메라 앞에 서달라고 부탁했지만 대답이 없습니다. 아라는 사실은 있죠. 확보한 자료에 따르면 장 씨는 문성명 교회에 관여했습니다. 약 30여 년 전에 작별하고 올리벳 커뮤니티와 올리벳 대학을 한국과 미국에 세웠습니다. 
이제 전 세계에 있죠. 발간된 보고서에 따르면 연방수사관들이 현재 올리백과 중국의 연결고리를 조사 중입니다. 거기서 대학은 많은 학생들을 미국으로 모집해 왔습니다. 사실 뉴욕 교육부는 2018년 기소에 이어 최근 올리벳 대학의 운영을 그 주위에서 중단시켰습니다. 그들의 소행을 처리하기에 거의 한 일이 없다고 하면서요. 어, 제 생각에 데이비 장, 그러니까 장재형에게 제기되는 문제 중에 하나는 이제 노동력 착취와 관련된 것 같습니다. 어, 저희가 취재하면서 끊임없이 들었던 말은 장재형의 교회에서 활동하는 사람들이 하나같이 경제적인 어려움 또 어, 생활고에 시달린다는 이야기였는데 심지어는 착취가 있었다는 생각을 하게 되고요. 실제로 한국에서 여러 가지 장재형과 연관된 기업들을 취재할 때도 일부, 일부 회사의 직원은 굉장히 낮은 수준의 임금을 받으면서 생활고에 시달릴 것 같다는 추측을 하게 만드는 회사들도 있었습니다. When I think about him and all the things that he's done, to me, he is a complete sociopath. He uses people as tools, as extensions of himself. And he's just moving them around on like a little like dollhouse. Like you do this, you do that. You know, he's like the puppet master. Um, and he's a complete narcissist. He controls where you live, what ministry you work for, so your career. He controls who your leaders are. He controls what city you're deployed to. He controls how much you make. He controls who you talk to. He controls who you marry. <laughs> He controls your children when they're born. Yeah, Zhang likes to exert control on your marital life, right? Because who you marry and how you get married is so pivotal. pivotal. So you develop a new sense of identity once you get married. You're now no longer your own person doing whatever you want. You have to be part of a, of a family unit. Now, in order to make sure that the family unit obeys him, Zhang controls how the family unit gets created and approves every single family unit before they get created. Right? So, so that's part of like the way the Moonies did it and that also Zhang did it that way. So you have to, uh, first of all, you have to be invited to become eligible for getting married. In order to do that, you need to have been abstained from, rela from intimate relations for at least three years. The wedding day is also very interesting and strange. You know, you start very early in the morning. You all get wet ready together. You have to self-fund everything, um, which is very difficult for people. And so all of these brides are on one side of the room. They're all getting dressed and they're all like putting on makeup. And then the grooms are all in another, another room and they're all getting dressed. And then you come together in this mass formalized sort of wedding. And then he delivers a sermon and pronounces each bride, uh, you know, all together as husband and wife. Actually, he even controls, like, when your children are born. So, for example, if if anyone wants to have a ch like have relations, you know, bedroom relations, marital relations, they have to report it. Um, the moment that I knew that this wasn't what I thought it was going to be was when um, I was supposed to get my first paycheck, which never came. Um, and then I realized that everybody working there wasn't, like this wasn't a normal job. Nobody was really getting paid we were doing everything for the kingdom of God. Um, you know, um, I mean, that's pretty much my entire work experience in the Olive community is that, um, you know, you're here looking back on it, you're, you're laundering money, you're forging documents. It's like uh, cognitive dissonance, so you don't really, you don't really want to admit that you got deceived that deeply. You really want to believe that you're following God, that you are doing something good, it's very difficult to admit that you were deceived. 
Also, if you speak out, for sure you're gonna be threatened by Jang and the top leadership. Jang will send people to you, to your house, to your family, and try to intimidate you. They will tell you that if you speak out, you will be sued for defamation, you will go to jail, and you will pay, pay big fines. Jang loves to boast about the expensive lawyers that the group has. So, the ex-members, they are scared to speak out. We do not have money for expensive lawyers. It is impossible for us to go against that organization. That is the reality. You just live in a bubble. And um, it's a mentality us versus them. So you think you're like helping the world, saving the world, that you are the true Christian and that David Zhang is someone special but you're just being abused emotionally, um, financially. You know, Jang is, a, Jang is a wolf in sheep's clothing. You know, no matter how good of an experience you have going into that community, in the end, he just wants to, he just wants to pour you out and just empty you of all your value just for him. I, I never want to be under somebody's thumb like that ever again. You Taiza